here is the finished result, you guys. I hope that you guys can see how delicious this looks. I already tasted it. It tastes so good, like so yummy. All right, y'all. Hey, superstars. Welcome back to the channel, honey. We are about to whip up something really, really quick and easy, and it's just going to be some shrimp fried rice. I'm keeping it very low key, okay, for us. So we got our little situation set up here for y'all. I got my seasoned shrimp. That's just some green onion. We have our eggs, and then we have our pre-cooked day-old rice off to the side um and as well as our seasoning so our shrimp have garlic powder ginger onion powder salt pepper dash of soy dash of sesame oil just to kind of bring some life to the shrimp and if you hear my kids in the background y'all already know it is what it is um and then hey baby shark shh So yeah, so we're going to get right into it, y'all. Actually, like making any type of fried rice is going to be pretty quick and easy as long as you have all your things ready to go. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I have my new wave induction cooktop and I'm going to put it on, well, we'll do 300 degrees and we're gonna get that up to temp. And then I'm going to just start dropping stuff, y'all. Like I said, this is going to be really, really fast. I'm going to cook the shrimp first, take it out, and then we'll get everything else going. Oh, let me get my frozen veggies, y'all, because I do have frozen veggies. I bought them just for this. It's literally just a simple bag, you guys. Nothing crazy, okay? Y'all let me know if this is too, like, romantic. Like, is it not dark enough? Uh, I mean, is it not bright enough for y'all? Do y'all feel like it's just too dim lit? I mean, it's kind of dark, but I don't know if I'm, like, necessarily upset about it. So I'm going to just leave it be, y'all, because we just got to kind of keep it moving at this point. I'm also recording um, some content for our other social media platforms that you guys can follow us on, which will be in the description box below. But yes. So after I have done and said all that, you guys know what you're here to see. If this video moves your spirit, honey, and you feel compelled to like, comment, share on this video, please do so subscribe to the channel. If you find something that is of interest of you, and don't forget to click the notification bell so that you do not miss any future uploads on the channel. But yes, so let me just get a little feel feel. All right, it's feeling good, y'all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop. I don't like to do too much sesame oil because this kind of has like, at least to me, a pretty pronounced like flavor. So we're just going to do a little bit of olive oil just to grease our pan here. And then I'm going to drop my shrimp, honey. I did quite a bit. of It's a pound of shrimp, y'all. OK, and it may seem like a lot, but they're going to cook down. But I hate, 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 hate. Like shrimp fried rice or really, honestly, any type of fried rice that doesn't have enough protein in it so I'm being generous to myself okay and of course the kids are gonna eat and then I'm gonna give some to my dad but yeah so you're gonna cook the shrimp until they're almost done because they're gonna finish cooking um, once we bring everything together I wish there was a way for me to move y'all closer I hate that I'm messing around with this camera right now but let me just try something, y'all. Just bear with me, okay? 
and um, once they start to turn pink, then we're going to like pretty much remove them. I want to say like two and a half or so minutes right before they would technically be done, we're going to remove them because I don't want them overcooked. I don't want to overcook the shrimp because shrimp cooks fast and these are pretty small shrimp y'all. So just saying. So I'm going to go ahead, finish this real quick, and then we will be right back, okay? You guys do not go nowhere. We, we will be right back, okay? All right, y'all. So our shrimp are two minutes. Well, they're pretty much done, y'all. Y'all can see they are, um, they have turned pink and their ends have curled. So that is a good indicator as well. So we're going to remove this. It smells good already, y'all. Like, I'm excited because I'm ready. I want it. I want to eat it. All right. So I'm going to raise our temp up just a little bit, y'all. Just like so. We're not going to do nothing with inside the pan here. We're just going to let it be. I'm going to add a little bit more oil. We're going to add in a little bit of garlic. You can use fresh garlic if you please, okay? But I'm putting about that much. And then I'm going to squeeze a little bit of ginger in here, y'all. About that much. Let's marry those two together. Add a little bit of the green onion just to bring that fragrance out. It smells so good in here, y'all. I can't even do. Like, I can't even do it. All right, y'all. So, like I said, we got our day-old rice here, okay? And we're going to go ahead and drop that rice right on in. Because we want to start toasting our rice and we want to start bringing the flavors together because after we drop our rice we're going to drop um our egg our veggies like it's just going to keep going and then we're going to add our shrimp back in and then everybody's going to get incorporated and then we got to season everybody so yeah so and goes the rice gently Break that up. Mm -hmm. You want to use day old rice, y'all, so you don't have no mushy fried rice. That's the key. As this starts to heat and warm through, the rice is going to loosen up. And it'll have some more give to it. So we're going to season our rice with the same things that we seasoned our shrimp with, y'all. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of ginger powder. A little bit of garlic. I know I already put garlic in there, y'all. I'm putting more. Yes, I am. A little bit of onion powder. I'm not going to put salt because we have the soy, but I am going to put pepper. We'll do a little bit of sesame oil.
It smells so good. All right, y'all. I'm going to keep toasting the rice for like another minute or two. And we're going to be sweeping after this. And I'll come right back because then we're going to drop our veggies and our eggs. And I'm going to show y'all these cute to-go boxes that I got from Walmart. They're so adorable. You want to eat? Look at these cute um, boxes, y'all. Can y'all see? Here we go. Look how cute those to-go boxes are. With hearts all over them. They were $2.48. They're at Walmart if you're wanting to do something fun with your food. Or I'm just probably the only one that's extra like this. No, I know I'm not the only one that's extra like that. But I'm going to put my dad's um, food in one of those containers. I'm sure he will get a kick out of that. All right, y'all, let's crack some eggs. Everybody still with me? All right, y'all, so we're going to let these eggs scramble. We just cracked our eggs in here, and um, we'll be right back with y'all. It's almost time. Ooh. It's almost time to eat. I show y'all hungry. So I'm going to make y'all to go box so y'all can skedaddle and go finish doing what you're doing. It's, it, it's crazy because so when I was younger, well, not younger, as I my mom used to have um, a lot of gatherings at her house and one of her good neighbors from across the street um, oriental lady so sweet she made the best fried rice and the best well hers was pork fried rice though the best pork fried rice and the best egg rolls ever they were so freaking delicious and she used she taught my mom how to make her rice and my mom had this big old rice cooker and she always made fried rice and i remember it always being so good and so yummy so this is kind of giving me the feels right now. Shout out to Nettie Boo. I love you, baby. I miss her cooking. When I was growing up, y'all, I did not cook. I wasn't in the kitchen. My mom didn't force it on me either. Like she just kind of let me be. Um, so the fact that I have grown up and kind of fallen in love with cooking and food and trying new things and experimenting and all of that is kind of kind of crazy for it to have come full circle that way because of the fact that I wasn't like being trained up in the kitchen when I was a young girl so but anywho sometimes we you know because I'm a parent now but I'm sure that when she was raising me she probably wondered like man I don't know if anything is sticking but I used to watch from the sidelines I just used to not really do too much but I always paid attention to certain things that she did so Clearly something worked. Something stuck, y'all. <laughs> something stuck. Something stuck, child. Here, go take this to Jason so he can open it for you. Bye-bye. Bye. Never not being a mom, y'all. Never not being a mom. Bye-bye. All right, y'all. So our eggs are cooked. So we're going to marry everybody together. Two eggs was plenty. This was two cups of rice, y'all. So two eggs for two cups of rice was plenty of egg. Ooh, look at that brown from that rice being toasted, y'all. You know, what I like about this induction cooktop is the second you remove your pan or pot from it, it will cut off. And I love that. Like, I could put my hand right on it, and then we would be good to go. I just gave her a muffin. Why y'all in here? Oh, come on. Y'all killing me. 
Oh, I butchered the bag, y'all. All right, so let's go ahead and drop some veggies. Just kind of eyeballing it. I feel like that's enough. I feel like that's enough. All right, y'all, so now it's about to come pretty much together. We're about to add our shrimp in here. We're gonna add some more sesame oil. We're gonna add some more green onion to finish. We gotta add our soy, because your soy is what's gonna help darken your rice. We like a little bit of tan fried rice over here. All right, that's a little bit more sesame oil, y'all. I like to layer my food. And then here's our soy. I like to layer my food, like the flavors of my food. So I feel like it makes it, you have, I feel like you have to layer the flavor in your foods. It just makes it better. Each level of the cooking experience has that bite of flavor. Nobody wants bland food. And then I have some unsalted butter to kind of give this like, not so much creamy, but just a little bit of extra richness, but it is unsalted y'all. It is unsalted. Let me go ahead and drop the butter in here now. Not a lot. You see, I kind of fold the rice over. We're not stirring it. We're folding, flipping, folding, flipping. It smells good, y'all. I ain't even gonna hold you. I'm gonna drop my shrimp back in with the juices. I'm making a mess. Mmm. Okay, but it needs a little bit more soy sauce. A little secret just a little bit of maggie seasoning oh just to really set it off y'all it's what i mean when i say layer your flavors y'all because if you do everything in the beginning you can't take away but you can always add okay so don't think you got to start dumping all these Especially when you, you're dealing with salt. If you season everything properly, you don't need to add extra salt. Because pretty much everything has a layer of level of some kind of sodium in it anyway. The only thing I added salt to, which was just a dash and it was pink salt, was the shrimp, y'all. Okay? I mean, that's looking pretty scrumptious, if I must say so myself, y'all. How that's looking for y'all? That's looking good. 
looking good for me, baby. All right, y'all. I mean, it's done. It smells great. I'm excited. I can't wait to taste it. All right, y'all. I had a little bit of technical difficulties and what's, what's a good video recording or, you know, <laughs> without some hiccups, right? It just, something is always bound to happen. Um, I didn't realize that the battery was low on here. So when you're cooking, you can't really stop what you're doing. So I had to wait to switch out the battery, y'all. So I do apologize. But here is the finished result, you guys. I hope that you guys can see how delicious this looks. I already tasted it. It tastes so good, like so yummy. And I'm so glad that I did the extra shrimp because it would not have been enough, honey. We're not, we, you know, the world may be skimpy on you, but you can't be skimpy on yourself. Add that whole pound of shrimp and that fried rice, okay? Do it, because I said so. And you ain't going to regret it. So, yeah. Bon appetit, y'all. I don't know what's going on with the lighting. Like, I was trying to do this whole, like, romantic feel, but I just don't think I like it. Like, I don't know if I'm I'm a fan of this this romanticized look. So if y'all hate how this video looks, just please put it in the comments below. But don't be an asshole about it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, sometimes you just want to try different things. But here's y'all's rice, y'all. Bon appetit. Y'all have a good night and have a good week. Spread love is free. See y'all next time.